from Studio 46. Good evening, New York City. This is your meteorologist, Marquise Mita, with CBS on Channel 2. Now, if you're coming into the city or leaving for tonight, we're expecting things to be a little bit cooler than they were this afternoon. 92 was your high for the afternoon. 77 is what we're expecting overnight, transitioning into tomorrow morning. We were looking in particular at these scattered storms and scattered showers, starting out in Maryland, stretching into Albany and all the way out into Vermont. Tonight, we're expecting a leftover shower from that rain, a little bit of patchy fog as we move in towards midnight. Things will stall out around 72 degrees for your overnight low. 59 overnight, mostly cloudy. Chance of showers exists tomorrow, 72 for your high. And it looks like things are really shaping up on Friday, maybe a cloud or two in the sky, but plenty of sunshine nonetheless. And this is Marquise with your CBS To Go weather forecast. We'll take you back to the studio. Moving into tomorrow and into tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting a similar trend of warm and humid weather. Things stop at 84 degrees. That's going to be your high for tomorrow. And winds are going to be coming out of the south and southeast. We're going to take a look at our seven-day weather outlook, but that will be just in a bit. I'll take you back to the desk, and I'll be back here shortly. Temperatures at 82 degrees right now. As you factor in that humidity and that dew point, it feels like 85. But let's take a look at the observed highs throughout the tri-state region. We saw upper 80s and lower 90s, 89 out in Monticello, 92 as we move towards Central Park, and that's eight degrees above our normal temperature, 84. But we've been tracking these 90 degree days, and right now, today, August 1st, makes 11. We started out in the mid-spring, with our first day of 90 degree weather. And it being only August 1st, we can expect a couple more as we move out through the rest of the summer. But let's take a look at our real time weather vortex. And we can see that most of the instability and most of the storms that we were expecting that we were tracking for you are now dissipating. We had a couple out in Kingston. We see those purple lightning bolts and a couple more down south in Philadelphia as well. But as we speak, they are dissipating. The closest one to us was out in Brooklyn. We're looking at South Beach and Coney Island right now. And within the last 15 minutes, these uh, areas of precipitation that you see on the map, those yellows right between the two, it, it's gone right now. As, as I'm speaking, it's, it's leaving us. But we're going to go down south towards the tropics and take a look at Tropical Depression Emily. It's tracking towards the northeast. And with that being said, it's not going to make landfall or anything, but it's going to bring humidity, more um, warmer temperatures, and we're going to see uh, that trend of precipitation as well. We're going to take a look at our future cast. Wednesday, we're tracking things. We have a cold front passing uh, at 4 o'clock. So expect a couple storms in the afternoon between 12 and 4 o'clock. After that, things start to dissipate. Tracking it, now we're at Thursday at 3.30. We're seeing that similar trend of instability over the area. Not too much to worry about, maybe a 20% chance of some pop-ups, uh, rain or storms here and there. But we're going to see how all the numbers stack up on our seven-day weather outlook. Wednesday, it looks like we have a 40% chance with that cold front moving in. 89 for your high on Wednesday. Thursday, we see that similar instability trend. 85 on Thursday, 84 on Friday. Instability kicks up, 30% chance of rain. Things are gradually clearing as we move from Friday into Saturday. 82 for your high on Saturday. 83 on Sunday and plenty of sunshine coming your way. And this is Marquise with your seven-day weather outlook. Now back to you in the studio.